This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hi, everybody, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Winter Edition of 2020. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. We are so thankful that you're joining us once again. We have a big show lined up for you because we have four teams ready to compete. Two of those teams will move on to our championship next week. Let's introduce you to our players because we have Crestview and Ada who will take the stage first. And joining us from Ada, we have Jacob Thaxton, Theo Hardesty, Nathan Hertig, and Isaac Spar. Ada is coached by Dave Lusk. Welcome to you gentlemen. All right, turning now to Crestview, another all-male team. We have joining us Cameron Kearns, Colby Swagger, Vincent Adam, and Dylan Barraclow. And Crestview is coached by Sandy Grooms. Welcome back to all of you guys. All right, you know how this goes, right? We have a first round with uh, 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Let's get those buzzers ready. Also, you know, we've got a lot of people watching at home. They want to hear your answers, so make sure you speak up into those microphones. And also, with your answers, make them as complete as possible. We have our judge with us again, Mark Dickman, so we will refer to him if we have any questions, okay? Is everybody set to go? All right, take a deep breath, and let's have a good time with this. Question number one. What is the world's longest river? Yes, Ada. The Nile. The Nile is correct. Question number two. Name the severe mental disease characterized by unpredictable disturbances in thinking and withdrawal from reality. Yes, Crestview. Alzheimer's. That is incorrect. So Ada, you've got a chance with this question. Yes. Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is what we're looking for. All right, moving on now to question number three. In 1968, 1,000 people with disabilities took place in what international competition? Ada. Paralympics. Paralympics is incorrect. Crestview, you want to try? No, you were very close over here. It's Special Olympics. All right, question number four in this first round. What is the first book of the Bible? Yes, Crestview. Genesis. Genesis is correct. Number five, name the only planet smaller than Mars. Yes, Ada. Mercury. Mercury is correct. Number six, in the book of John, the Spirit of God descended like a what? Yes, Ada. Dove. A dove is the answer. Okay, question number seven now in this first round. What is the name for a device that is implanted in the body to keep the heart beating regularly? Yes, Crestview. A pacemaker. Pacemaker is the correct answer. Question number eight. What are the hard outer shells found on crustaceans called? Yes, Ada. An exoskeleton. Exoskeleton is correct. Moving on, number nine. Identify the man who in the 1800s created the world's first pair of jeans for California's, yes, that would be Ada? Levi. Expand Levi the, Strauss. Levi Strauss is correct. All right, here's your final question in your first round. What is the square root of 25? Yes, Ada. Five. Five is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of round one. Here is our score. Crestview with 20 points, Ada with 70. We're moving into our second round right after the break, so stay right there. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal.
All right, welcome back everyone. We are moving into our second round now in competition between Crestview and Ada. Here's the score right now. Crestview, you have 20 points. Ada with 70. That means Ada, you're going to lead the second round. You have five questions, five points apiece. All yours, but please buzz in with your answers, okay? Here we go, question number one. What name is given to a jury that does not reach a verdict? Yes. A hung jury? A hung jury is correct. Moving on to two. What word is used in the field of art to designate a large painting done directly on a wall? Oh, yeah. Fresco. Yes. Fresco? Fresco is correct. All right. Number three. What word designates the resistance to motion of two surfaces that come in contact with each other? Yes. Friction. Friction is the answer. All right. Who was the youngest man ever elected U.S. president? That's JFK. Kennedy. Yes. John F. Kennedy. John Kennedy is correct. All right. And what is the name of the quadrilateral having exactly two sides parallel? That's a trapezoid. Mm -hmm. Yes. Trapezoid? Trapezoid is correct. All right, great job. Turning now to Crespi, it's your turn. Everybody ready over here? Okay, five questions, five points apiece. Please buzz in. Name the immune disease in which intolerance to gluten leads to damage of the lining of the small intestine. Okay, time is up. The answer is celiac. All right. On which continent was the ancient civilization of the Zimbabwe found? Yes. Africa. Africa is correct. What is the largest continent? Yes. Asia. Asia is correct. Question number four. Which state is also known as the Empire State? Yes. New York. New York is correct. And here's your final question in the second round. Into which vitamin do animals convert carotene, the red or yellow pigment found in the carrot? Yes. A. Vitamin A is correct. All right. We've come to the end of the second round now. Here's our score. Crestview, you have 40 points. Ada with 95. This final round, 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Okay? Let's go with question one. What word beginning with the letter F designates paintings done on wet plaster using, yes, Ada? Fresco. Fresco it is, all right. Question two, which planet has the most moons? Yes, Crestview. Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. Which term designates the process followed by an immigrant to become a U.S. citizen? Ada. Americanization. That is incorrect. Crestview, you got a chance with this one. Yes. Nationalization process. That is correct. Naturalization. Oh. All right. Number four. How many meters are in a kilometer? Yes, Ada. 1,000. 1,000 is the answer. Okay. Which word designates food produced naturally without man-made pesticides? Yes, Ada. Organic. Organic is correct. All right, moving on now to number six. Which term designates a band of colors revealed when a beam of white light? Yes, Ada. Rainbow. Rainbow is incorrect. Crespi, would you like me to complete the question? Yes, All right. Which term designates a band of colors revealed when a beam of white light is broken up as it passes through a prism? Yes. Visible colors. That is also incorrect. Spectrum oh, is the answer. All right, number seven in this final round. How many elements are on the periodic table? Yes, Crestview. 118. 118 is the correct answer. Which great Polish-born composer wrote more than 200 compositions for solo piano? 
solo piano. Ada. Chopin. That is correct, Frederick Chopin. All right, question number nine. You have two remaining in your game. Which illness wiped out thousands of people across Europe? Yes, that would be Ada. Black Plague. Black Plague is correct. And your final question. During which war did Louisa May Alcott, the author of Little Women, yes, Ada? Civil War. Civil War is the answer. All right, we've come to the end of our game. Between Crestview and Ada, here is the final score. Crestview, 70 points. Ada, you are moving on to the championship with 155. So congratulations. We'll be seeing you next week. Crestview, thank you so much for joining us. It was a well-played season once again. All right, we'll be back with the next game right after this break. Don't go anywhere. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Welcome back, everyone. We just wrapped up the game between Ada and Crestview. Well, we know that Ada is going to be moving on to the championship, and now we're going to see Spencerville and Riverdale and find out who is going to challenge Ada for the title. All right, let's introduce you to the players joining us from Spencerville. We have Connor Nielsen, Ash Plummer, Ben Sudoff, and Joe Kidd. And Spencerville is coached by Melissa Pritchard. Welcome back to all of you. All right, turning now to Riverdale, we have Johanna Thacker, Benjamin Borkowski, Aaron Lees, and David Borkowski. And Riverdale is coached by Christy Thacker. Welcome back to you as well. Okay, so I don't think I need to remind you, but I wanna let the viewers know at home, our first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Let's get those buzzers ready. Also, make sure you speak into those microphones and speak up as loudly as you can with your answers and make them as complete as possible, okay? All right, here we go with question number one in your first round. Which word identifies meetings held by party members in a state for selection? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Caucuses. Caucus is correct. All right, question two. Which blood type is known as being the universal donor? Yes, Spencerville. O. Well, O Could, positive. I'm sorry? O positive. That is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try it? Yes. O negative. O negative is the answer we're looking for. All right, question number three. Identify the Italian artist whose personal papers included a sketch for an experimental flying machine. Yes, Riverdale. Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci is the answer. Question four in the first round. Which law states every action has an equal? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Newton's third law. Newton's law is correct. Okay, moving on, number five. Name the national oath first recited in 1892. Yes, Riverdale. The Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance is correct. All right, number six. By what common name is the 1919 banning of alcohol known? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Prohibition. Prohibition is correct. Moving on now, number seven. Which word is used to designate an obstacle on a golf course or a risk? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Bunker. Bunker is incorrect. Spencerville, would you like me to complete the question? Yes. Which word is used to designate an obstacle on a golf course or a risk or danger? All right, the answer is hazard. All right, number eight. In centigrade, at what temperature does water boil? 
Yes, it would be Riverdale. 100 degrees. 100 degrees is correct. What does PhD stand for? Yes, that would be Spencerville. Doctorate. Could you expand your answer? Doctorate in the... Okay, time is up. Riverdale, do you want to try it? No, the answer is Doctor of Philosophy. All right, our final question in this first round. What is the capital of Texas? Yes, Riverdale. Austin. Austin is correct. Okay, everybody, we've come to the end of our first round. Here is the score. Riverdale, you have 80 points. Spencerville, you are not on the board yet, but we have the second round happening now. But um, Riverdale, because you're leading, you're going to actually lead this round with five questions with five points apiece. Get uh, the buzzers ready because we do still want you to buzz in with the answers, okay? Which term designates a brief story, often having animal characters, that ends with a moral? Yes. Fable. Fable is correct. Identify the name by which the national flag of Britain is known. Yes. Union Jack. Union Jack is correct. In centigrade, at what temperature does water freeze? Yes, Riverdale. Zero. Zero is correct. Which city on the Mississippi River was named by French fur traders in honor of King Louis XV? Yes. St. Louis. St. Louis is correct. And your final question in the second round. Which planet is closest to the sun? Yes. Mercury. Mercury is correct. All right, very good. Okay, Spencerville, your turn. Please buzz in with your answers, okay? What is equal to 39.37 inches and is the basic unit of length in the metric system? Yes. A meter? Meter is the correct answer. You're on the board. All right. Whose image is on the front of a U.S. quarter? Yes. George Washington. George Washington is correct. In which state is Acadia National Park located? Yes. California? California is incorrect. It's actually Maine. All right. Your fourth question here in round two. Name the European country that was headed by the fascist dictator Mussolini from 1925. Yes, Spencerville. Italy. Italy is correct. And your final question. Give the term derived from Japanese for a tidal wave resulting from an underwater, yes? Tsunami. Tsunami is correct. Okay, very good. We've come to the end of our second round now. Here is the score. Spencerville, you have 20 points. Riverdale with 105. We'll be entering our third and final round right after the break, so stay with us. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we are one round away from deciding who will head into the championship game next week. Right now, we have a game going between Riverdale and Spencerville. Here's our score right now, Spencerville with 20 points. Riverdale with 105. This final round has 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. They're all up for everybody's um, answer. So make sure you get those buzzers ready and ring in and speak as loudly and as completely as you can, okay? Question one, identify the animal whose name designates a beginner's ski slope. Yes, that would be Riverdale. Bunny. Bunny is correct. What type of insect did John the Baptist eat 
Yes, that would be Riverdale. Locust. Locust is correct. Identify the founding father known for his large signature. Yes, that would be Spencerville. John Hancock. John Hancock is correct. Which fictional doctor in a classic 1931 movie wanted to create life at all costs? Riverdale. Frankenstein. Frankenstein is the answer. Okay, question five in our final round. Which nationality is used to identify the horn with rotary valves that is able to play any? That would be Riverdale. French. French horn is correct. How many degrees are in a straight angle? Yes, Riverdale. 180. 180 is correct. Okay, question number seven in your final round. Who was the third president of the United States? Yes, Riverdale. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is correct. Name the American mail service that originated in 1860 that used horses and riders. Yes, Riverdale. The Pony Express. Pony Express is correct. Two questions remain. What fictional city is Batman's home? Yes, Riverdale. Gotham. Gotham is correct. And here's your final question in your game. What is the name for the grassy area between the U.S. Capitol and the Washington Monument? Yes, Riverdale. The National Mall. The mall is correct. All right, well played. We've come to the end of our game now. Between Spencerville and Riverdale, here is the final score. Spencerville, 30 points. Riverdale, a whopping 195. So congratulations, you're gonna be moving on to the championship next week. Spencerville, thank you so much for playing this year. And we wanna thank you for playing at home. Hope to see you back here next week for the championship game. We'll see you then, bye-bye.